Hey guys, it's me, Destiny, and I'm doing a video today because I got a lot of questions about my hair and the style and how I wear it and what's going on with it, and um, just a couple of questions. Well, basically, let me start off by saying that um, this is a wig, and when I first got it, it was very, very short. None of this was included. Um, all the hair was about this short on top. Well, actually, that's not how it was when I first got it. When I first got it, it had... It was tapered in the back, but was kind of curly and had big crunchy curls on top, and it was really ugly. It looked like a lunch lady wig, but I liked the basic shape of it, and I knew that I could get it and wash it and thin it out, and I could, you know, get a nice structure from it. So I took it home, and I bought it. I took it home. I washed it. I had it thinned out and cut professionally and just shaped up along the sides and in the back. I had it tapered. And then I was wearing it like that for a little while and I got bored with it and I decided to glue some tracks in it because I like the way it fits my face. So that was pretty much the gist of it. You could pretty much go out and buy one of those old lady wigs. I see them all the time on older women and I'm just like, man, that wig could be so dope if you only knew. You could buy it, dye it, have it cut and just glue some tracks in. I started from this side in the C motion and glued them all along the side. It's probably better to sew them in because of the season. You, your head sweats and stuff like that, but I'm gonna show you. Pretty much, see, I, I just, I glued them in so closely. You just follow the tracks of the wig and wherever there's space, you just glue it in. And I mixed it with 1B33 and number four hair. For those of you who are familiar with the weave lingo that's basically light brown and kind of like a brownish blonde color and it's really cute but basically even if you don't have a haircut like this you could pull your hair back in a ponytail carve out a deep bang where your hair may be in a bun or a ponytail and you can completely achieve this type of look just I sometimes I do it curly sometimes I do it as a bouffant sometimes I just lay it on the side and let it act out but um this is generally the shape I go for and as you can see it has some of the nat other hair from the way it was originally laying down it looks kind of natural it looks like baby hair you know you just gotta make sure you get it really thin and close to your head any other tips I can say about if you want to buy a wig and redo it human hair it has to be human. Well, it doesn't have to be human, but it works a lot better if it's human hair. If you get synthetic, make sure the hair you um, glue in already has curls to it or sew in or whatever you're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the tutorial. I'm going to start by saying um, I'm not going to do a precise style. I'm just going to show you how I curl it and then how I screw with it until it's somewhat how I like it, you know. Okay, so basically what I was saying is I'm not going for a precise style. I basically just grab medium sized pieces of hair and curl it backward. Depending on the shape of your face and what kind of style you're going for, you can curl it backward, forward, to the front, to the side, even to this side, which will give it more height because it's coming in this direction. If you curl it this side, it'll give it so much more height. It'll be so rock star ish. I do that every now and again when I'm feeling feisty. But basically, just grab it. I have a really good gold pearl curling iron, so I could grab probably the, all the hair and curl it at once. But I like to curl it and roll it all the way down and hold it for volume. Some tips about this hair. I don't know if this got recorded because my camera is a douchebag. Some tips about this is um, it's better to have human hair because you can do more with it. You can style it. It lasts longer. You can wash it and revive it and bring it back to life. And when I first bought this, it, there wasn't much you can do with it except dye it. And I just curl it like that and I leave it. I don't really put product in my hair because I'm not really big on putting product in my hair or in my weave. Um, going natural. So I'm trying to get something that's going to look good on my face that I can eventually do with my real hair. Okay, so I'm back and as you can see, um, there's no particular anything going on. And some people actually like, you know, like this type of thing. If you want to just judge it. And you can pin the longer curls up. I like a little bit of volume on top. 
shirts on there good. I like a little volume on top. And you can do it like that. But the way I usually wear my hair in my videos is I curl, I comb the curl out a little bit. This is the way that I wear it. And what I usually like to do is I'll take the front piece and make sure everything kind of going with the flow. And then I'll take this lower piece and bring it up higher and um, as you can see I have some spikies because the actual hair is a lot shorter which you would experience if you weaved in if you glued in weave to your hair you know I kind of I like this for today I take a little bit of comb polisher um, comb polisher hand polisher solid ice pomade which is pretty much a wax. I take it in my hand and I, I warm it up and I kind of get those. Another thing I like to do to kind of get everything to act more cooperative um, when you have really short hair and you don't have heat tools, I like to kind of take it. When you can hear that wax sizzle to get it to have less flyaways and to be a little bit tighter to your head. Same thing to the top. careful around the front of your head because you don't want to burn yourself. But then I take a little bit of wax on my fingers and kind of shape the side and the pin. I have the tail of the hair because it's long. I have it wrapped around, just wrapped, curled, and pinned down flat. And you can stick the pins into um, the cap of the wig if you're wearing a wig. Or if you are doing this and you have long hair, you can stick it in your ponytail. If you're doing this and you have dreads, and you can put it in a ponytail and have your um, hair in the front, coil it, set it overnight. I think just about any type of hair, as long as you have like a little bit of length in the front, can achieve this look. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Um, it's really not something that's too that involves too much detail or too much in depth because every day my hair looks a little bit different. I just curl it and I take the brush and I kind of make it work. So this is how it's working today, and it'll be working different tomorrow. And I hope you're on to see that. Thanks. Bye.